Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm not sure you know, but with the background here, I am now back in Lagos, Nigeria. I have spent what, two months in Canada and I will not lie to you. My journey back navigating um, the protocols and whatnot was very, very interesting. I made, I had an experience basically and in this video today, I'm going to be sharing with you how my COVID test didn't come back. My COVID test result did not come back on time. And the implication of that, um, when I tried to leave Canada for Nigeria on the 2nd of September, 2021. Hi guys. So a huge part of me was very hesitant to actually share this video with you because you guys now see me as the queen of travel protocols, you know, but because I'm also human and I believe every negative experience is a lesson to be learned and some lessons are actually worth sharing, especially with my amazing YouTube family. So what happened? I'm going to share a clip of what exactly happened on the afternoon of September the 2nd, 2021. Hi guys, so I'm currently at Regina International Airport and I'm meant to be flying to Nigeria via Montreal, no, yeah, via Montreal and via Germany, Frankfurt. But unfortunately I could not board, I could not even check in because I had not received my PCR test on time. I did my PCR test, I mentioned on Tuesday and I'm still yet to receive it. Um, yeah, I think next time, definitely, I think I'm going to go for one of those express paid tests because the test that I did here wasn't a paid one, which was, I think, an error on my part. Um, but as I said, I'm heading back over to my cousins. Um, I'm going to try and rebook my flights, hopefully get my PCR results comes out today. Um, maybe I have to do another one um, because of obviously the 72 hours lapse. Um, but yeah. Hi guys, so I'm back here at Regina International Airport, but I'm not flying. I'm actually going to do a quick rush COVID test, right? Um, it's a 24 hour test. So I'm hoping to um, book my flight for tomorrow morning or tomorrow midday. So I'm going to get a COVID test done here. It costs me $260 whew, for the test, right? So I'm just gonna head off there now to do my PCR tests. Um, yeah. So in this video today, I'm gonna to be sharing with you a little bit more detail of exactly what happened and also the cost implication of me having to change my flight due to not getting my results on time. How Hair Canada actually messed up my ticket and the story of how I literally just spent, probably spent eight hours on the phone trying to speak to customer service to just sort out this mess so I can travel back to Nigeria. I really hope you find little gems and little things that you learn from from my video. I'm sure this happens to a lot of people, so know that you're not alone. Um, but I think this video is just to sort of share my experience and sort of share the repercussions of, you know, I guess my lapse in a certain action, right? Um, I really hope you enjoy the video. So let's talk about the morning of the 2nd of September. I went to the Regina International Airport, Regina being in Saskatchewan, which is a province, I believe, in Canada. I went to the airport um, with a rapid test, right? I knew that Nigeria actually does not accept rapid tests, but I was actually hoping that by the time I get to the airport, I would have received my PCR test and I could have easily uploaded it in the travel portal and everything would be okay. I also thought, a part of me thought, okay, even if I didn't receive my PCR test leaving Regina, I was still going to connect in Montreal. So perhaps if I receive it um, within, you know, four or five hours later, I'll be able to show it as proof um, of entry um, for Nigeria leaving from Montreal. But let me be honest, if I actually say the truth to you guys, leaving my cousin's house that morning, I knew deep down I wasn't traveling anywhere, right? Um, Cause I just knew that without PCR, airlines will not um, board me because they don't want to be fined by Nigeria. 
Context around the PCR that I did, I did it two days prior. I mentioned in the video that it was not a paid test. It was actually one of this drive-through tests in Regina that my cousin told me that it would be completely fine for me to actually um, get the test back on time. When I got to the test center, I informed them that I was traveling, that I'm a British citizen, and that I was traveling in a few days. And I guess they did the test for me, but I, looking back, it was probably one, not one of those tests that they, they were going to guarantee the timeline of results for me. So I would say the lesson here for everyone watching this is when it comes to doing your test, your PCR test, if you want to avoid any drama, please, please just try and book a paid test, right? That is, you know, that delivery or result is actually guaranteed within 24 or 48 hours. So that is okay for your flight to Nigeria. Bear in mind that you need for your PCR test to be valid within 72 hours to your departure from the country you're leaving from. The truth is when I did my PCR test um, at the drive-thru, I was not very, very comfortable doing it. And my cousin had reassured me that I would get my PCR test from the drive-thru on time, which I didn't. And at the time I felt very, very uncomfortable because I'm a very, you know, I like to plan everything I do. So lesson to me too is that if, you know, I have the knowledge and I need to sort of like use that knowledge to sort of like execute based on what I know, right? So do very, very, I think it's very important to rely on the information that you have um, and what you know and not sort of like pass that responsibility to somebody else. So let me actually tell you when I checked in what happened. When I got to the check-in, the first thing the check-in assistant asked of me was my passport. When she checked my passport, she said, okay, so where's your PCR? She basically, I, I basically said I didn't have one that I was waiting for one. And she said to me that, oh, that there was absolutely no way they could even let me to leave from Regina um, with the hope that I'll get in Montreal, like, but it wasn't gonna happen. So that was my dream crush. She advised that I call my travel agent because I booked my ticket with Amex Travel to change my flight for maybe the next day. Later that day, I actually called Amex Travel and after spending two hours on hold, they then told me that I needed to speak to Air Canada to change the ticket for me, which was super annoying. I then went to Air Canada and called Air Canada and Air Canada now told me to, I think they made me wait for another like couple of hours again. And they informed me that I had to pay the fair difference for the flights that I wanted to change to. They offered me a flight for the Friday. So it was Thursday today. It was at the point for the Friday, Saturday or Sunday. For the Friday, they said the fair difference was $500. For Thursday, Saturday, they said it was $5,000. And for Sunday, they said it was $160, which then meant that, you know what, it made sense for me to leave on Sunday instead. The agent informed me that the Sunday flights were actually exactly the same flights that I had um, on the 2nd of September, just that it was a different day. Um, but one thing I noticed actually when I received my tickets um, confirmation was that I had a premium economy upgrade that I'd paid for, for my last leg leaving from Frankfurt to Lagos. And I realized that it just said economy on my ticket. So this was where the issue came about. I immediately notified the agent I was speaking to, the Air Canada agent, and he said that I, he'll give me the EMD number and I just had to inform, call Lufthansa, um, tell them the EMD number and they will be able to apply the upgrade on the ticket. I then called Lufthansa, spent another two hours on hold. Like it's crazy how, you know, due to COVID now, the timelines for wait, the waiting times are just insane calling airlines. Like, have you guys found that the same? Like, similarly so? Like, let me know in the comment section below. So, I then called Lufthansa. Lufthansa said that, oh no, they checked the ticket that when Air Canada changed my ticket for the other day, that they actually changed the code. Um, because I think there's a flight share code, you know, Lufthansa and um, Air Canada are sharing that last leg. That's... Um, Frankfurt to Lagos leg that initially my ticket was actually a Lufthansa leg ticket 
but now it's an Air Canada. Because it's an Air Canada ticket that they were unable to apply the code that I have to call Air Canada back for them to change that ticket to a Lufthansa code so that they can then apply it. At this point, I was exhausted and tired. So frustrated, I called Air Canada back and when I called Air Canada back and I explained the situation to another agent, the lady informed me that there was, um, the person that I had spoken to at Air Canada before made a mistake that when they changed my ticket, they changed it to an Air Canada ticket. And that was like the cheapest option. That if they had changed it to a Lufthansa ticket, it would have been more expensive, that they should have communicated that with me, that by removing that element of Lufthansa as being my code being on my ticket, I wasn't able to get the upgrade and there's nothing they could do about it. At this point, guys, I was so mad. I was like, but that is your fault. If you guys made an error, then you should be able to fix it. And she said, okay, well, we can't fix it on the phone. You have to email customer service and customer service will probably take a couple of days to get back to you, which then meant that I definitely would not be getting my upgrade, right? I'm sure some of you guys are going to be like, ah, Funke, you're still looking for upgrades. So you just get on this flight and go back. Let me tell you something. That's last leg, flying economy from, you know, Frankfurt to Lagos. I think it can be hectic. So I was like, you know what, let me enjoy my peaceful. So I was going to fight for this upgrade. Nevertheless, to conclude, after an hour on the phone with this Air Canada lady, she basically said there's nothing that she can do. But what she did was she said, you know, because of the inconvenience, everything I experienced, that she would actually give me priority seats, right? So I think the priority seats on the Regina to Montreal um, flight and the Montreal to, to Frankfurt flight, that she would give me like priority seats in economy, which meant that I would have more space for my daughter. She also said that the seats she gave me currently did not have any passengers sitting next to, um, next to me, which meant that my lap infant, my daughter that was traveling with me, that she would be able to actually maybe even sit on the seat for free, which was incredibly kind of this lady, right? And it brings me to a different point. People, air, you know, airline, their customer service, they have the power to actually make changes for your benefit. So I feel like if you persevere, if you're kind, if you communicate nicely on the phone, there are benefits for you to have. Um, so just bear that in mind. The only other thing she said to me was that when I got to Frankfurt, that I should actually speak to the Lufthansa agent about the issue, that they actually have a lot more flexibility and they can, they can make things happen for me on ground, that I should just be nice and project myself in a nice way and that they'll make it happen. So that was good to know. Whether or not they made it happen or not, you will find out in my subsequent videos. Anyways, guys, I just wanted to share this video because I felt it would be very useful to share my personal experience with you all. And also that sometimes, you know, we gurus don't get it completely right. We all make, you know, I guess, errors or in judgment. So for those of you that have missed my flight reviews, guys, you'll be happy to know that I'm gonna have flight reviews upcoming subsequently after this videos it was super tough because creating a flight review traveling alone with a toddler is work but i was like you guys have been requesting it from time to time to time and i didn't want to disappoint you i really hope you enjoy watching the upcoming videos thank you so much for watching to the end i really hope you enjoyed this video too if you made it to the end of this video i would love for you to comment sassy you tried Yes, leave sassy you tried in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my flight reviews. Bye. <laughs>